everybody, this is Joe Parker. I wanted to do a quick tutorial today on how I paint my sky backdrop. I use a gradation from top to bottom, so if you go out in the, the real world and look at the sky, the higher up from the horizon you go, you're going to notice that it's a, a darker, deeper blue, especially on days when there are no clouds. As you get closer to the horizon, you'll notice that the, the color of the blue gets lighter and lighter. Uh, so what you really end up with is not a sky that is all one color, um, but one that changes color as it gets closer to the horizon. And so I've tried to get that same effect, uh, which is known as an ombre effect, uh, on my backdrop. It's kind of hard to tell here. Um, so I hope you'll be able to see this here. I apologize for the lighting. This is under a large soffit in my basement. Uh, above this soffit is where some of the uh, trunk for the HVAC in my house goes. It's also where the plumbing uh, goes for, uh, for uh, the sewage. So I had to come down quite a ways off of the, the top of the ceiling uh, in the other parts of the room to get this, this soffit in. Um, what I'm going to do here is start at the top with uh, the darkest color blue, which uh, I'm using Benjamin Moore Mediterranean Sky, which is kind of appropriate. Uh, and it's going to, uh, as we get down, I'm going to use three bands, uh, mixing in Benjamin Moore Lily White. That's a, a white color with a bit of a blue in it. It's a little bit of an icy blue. I used three different colors. Fortunately, I didn't do these in order, uh, uh, but I did mark them on the cans. So sky number two is 60% blue and 40% uh, white. Sky number three, 33% blue and 67% white. Um, that way, you know, I can get the, that gradation that I was talking about. I bought these cans at Home Depot. They were empty. Um, I think they were less than a dollar a piece, but they're great for being able to mix uh, mix the paint and, and have a, a larger batch than you might need for one sitting uh, and be able to use those. I think it's worth mentioning, I mentioned that uh, you know I had to work around a lot of the plumbing in my house um, and in order to do that and make sure that I had access to those, those sewage pipes to make sure if there was ever a need for a clean out, um, I had to put this access panel on. This is just a plumber's access panel. It's actually quite a large one because there's uh, two things in there that I need to get at. Uh, my original plan, uh, and I should mention too that these come in white, so I've already painted this the full uh, Mediterranean sky color. My original plan was to paint over this uh, with the same gradation that I was going to use for the backdrop itself. Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to come out. So I, I mentioned when I started this channel that I was going to show you the good and the bad, and, and uh, you know this is one of those situations where I have no idea how it's going to look. Given the shadows that are in there, I may have to uh, put a cardboard uh, backdrop in front of it uh, that could be just to, I may not be able to to blend it as well as I hoped I would. You can see here that I've put down some drop cloths. Um, I have carpeting in my layout room and I am not known for being the neatest of painters so rather than risk ruining the carpeting I would rather ruin the drop cloth. The other thing that I did to, to make sure that I could keep things straight is since I've been doing this painting over the course of a long period of time, I think I did the first walls probably about a year ago, um, I used a bit of foam core to put the different colors down there. Uh, you saw that I had marked the cans with the formulas for those paints so that I can reproduce those later if I need to. Um, but this also, uh, with the numbers here on the side, tells me in terms of the can number uh, roughly what it's going to look like on the wall. Okay, so we're going to start uh, with the, the darkest blue, the, the full strength Mediterranean blue. I've got a small four inch roller here. I'm using six inch rollers for the other one, uh, uh, the other two colors. The reason for that being that the wall is already Mediterranean blue, so I, I don't need quite as much to kind of to get that going. Uh, but what we're going to do here is we're just going to kind of put a, a good coating. Uh, you know, with a fairly wet coating of the Mediterranean blue on the top. Then we're going to go with our next color. I'm going to put a nice band on there as well. And hopefully, check my monitor. Yep, you can tell that there is a, a distinct difference in color there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a four inch brush, just a standard four inch brush here. And I'm going to go in an X kind of pattern to, to blend these two things together. And um, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. So, what we're basically trying to do here is kind of mix these things together so that they they blend. And when we first start here, it's going to look kind of rough. Um, but but as we blend these in more, uh, you'll be able to see, providing I'm not in the way, <laughs> um, you know how these things kind of come together. I'm holding my brush up and down like this. Uh, it's kind of important, although not critical, 
to make sure that the darker color is always on the top. So you'll want to keep track of that. And um, so we can go up and down here. I'm going to mix these in. Um, even uh, the, the wall has been painted for quite some time. So even the full strength Mediterranean blue appears lighter than, um, than it actually will dry. Uh, you shouldn't really worry about that. It'll, it'll kind of blend in. Um, doesn't always work perfectly, uh, but uh, it kind of gives you a, a good, good blend here. Uh, when I did the first wall uh, over to my left, uh, and I'll show you that in a, in a minute on, on the video, um, it didn't work out so well the first time. The nice thing about this is it's paint. You can start over, um, just go over it with the, the full strength Mediterranean blue, let it dry, and then go in again. So now what we're going to do is go with the lightest color. Again, this is just a six inch roller, small one from, uh, from the hardware store. Give that one across here. Now we're just gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna blend this in. And again, when you first start, it looks kind of rough, um, but as you go, it kind of blends in and, and uh, really starts to get a nice, a nice finish. I, I find, at least personally, that this gives you a, a, a much more realistic look and feel for your sky. I've seen plenty of backdrops where, where it was just, um, just a solid blue. That works fine, especially if you put clouds in it. Um, I wanted to go that, that one step further and, uh, and, and do the, uh, the blending here and get the ombre effect. So I'm going to move the camera down. The wall itself is white, and you can see that I'm actually going over that. The top of the layout is just going to run right about here, or the surface of the layout, I should say. Getting the, the blue and the white down below is not going to be a big deal. brush up here before it dries too much and that's the thing about this it does dry pretty quickly so you want to make sure that uh, you're not doing too much at one time or else uh, it's going to dry on you and you're not going to get the the blending effect you want because it's going to dry there we go i, I did uh, it's probably about a two and a half maybe three foot section here um, that i blended in just kind of eyeball it uh, if you don't like how it comes out, like I mentioned, you can just paint over it. Uh, we're going to let that dry. Okay, it's been about uh, somewhere between 15 and 25 minutes since I first put that coat on. And hopefully with this light, you can tell uh, what's going on. But I'm actually pretty happy with this. So um, while, while we, I had the camera off, I, I did go back and, and paint that uh, access panel. Jury's still out on that one. That part there might need another coat. As this dries, I'm becoming more and more happy with it. Uh, we'll see how that access panel turns out. I might, may still need to cover that with masonite, but, uh, but we'll go from there. Hopefully you'll give this a try. Uh, the first time I wanted to try it, I was a little bit skeptical and, and um, didn't want to go through the trouble. Hopefully this shows you that it's not really that difficult uh, as long as you have your three colors of paint prepared and ready to go. It's a fairly simple process. I had mentioned earlier in the video that there was a section that I had to go back and repaint because I wasn't happy with it, and that's this section that's on the right-hand side of your screen right now. The reason for that, I think, was that I tried to get too ambitious and try to paint too much at one given time, and the paint dried out before I could get a good blend on it. I mentioned that I was able to go back and repaint the entire backdrop the full strength Mediterranean sky color and was then able to do the blending over again using the uh, the diagonal strokes to to get a good blend. I uh, did a smaller section this time and was pretty happy with the outcome. So as you can see the final outcome here was a nice blended sky. The light over in this particular corner is, is a lot better than it is over under the soffit there uh, just because it's a more wide open space and the lights are higher in the room so I think you get a better idea of what the backdrop is intended to look like. So once again my name is Joe Parker. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you'll subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get updates and I'll continue to post videos on the updates and progress on the layout. Until next time, thanks for watching.